Welcome to Process Instrumentation Training. My name is Dieter Haas. In this tutorial we will focus on C-Trans P320, P420 pressure transmitters. The goal of this tutorial is to become familiar with basic functions and commissioning of the C-Trans P320, P420 pressure transmitter. We will take a closer look at following. Nameplates. Display. Electrical connections, as well as parameter assignment via push buttons. In this tutorial, we will use the C-Trans P420. One of the main benefits of C-Trans P420 in comparison to the C-Trans P320 is its higher accuracy. However, the operation of the two devices is identical. The C-Trans P320 P420 can have up to three nameplates plus an optional tag plate. Located on the cover over the buttons is the nameplate with general information, such as serial number, material of the connection, maximum measuring span, maximum allowable operating pressure and many other important information. By scanning the QR code, you can access a website with device-specific information. On the front of the enclosure is the nameplate with approval information. Located on the back side of the enclosure is the nameplate with information of the remote seal. As next, we'll deal with the display. For this, I will remove the cover with the glass pane. You can gradually rotate the display. There is a jumper behind the display. In the picture, you can see that the right protection is deactivated or activated depending on the jumper position. When the right protection is activated, the measured values are only readable and the operation via buttons is locked. Besides the jumper, you can also lock the device via user pen. Now we have a look at the electrical terminal compartment. Here we have the connecting terminals for earthing and the power supply. At the bottom right, there is a test connector where you can measure the loop current. After opening the retaining screw, you have the possibility to rotate the enclosure by 360 degrees. Operating the C-Trans P320, P420 with the four buttons is very easy and convenient. There are three views available, measurement view, parameter view, as well as edit view. We are currently in a measurement view. The measurement view shows the current measured values as well as status and diagnostic measures. If you are in another view and you would like to return to the measurement view, please press the left arrow button. In the measurement view, you can navigate through the measured values by pressing the arrow buttons up or down. P1 is the measured value. P2 sensor temperature, P3 electronics temperature, P4 to P8 are displayed according to the set application parameter, for example at level in meter. P9 is percent of range. The next two measured values are two great new features. With PA you get the loop current and with PB the terminal voltage. We have a C-Trans P420 differential pressure transmitter with the 5 bar measuring cell. In the following example the lower range of the measuring span also called LRV 
lower range value is assigned to minus 500 millibar. The upper range of the measuring span URV upper range value is assigned to plus 4500 millibar. These values correspond to the output current 4 milliamp and 20 milliamp. In addition to this, we do a zero point adjustment. These three settings are the most common basic settings. Furthermore, I will show how to change the pressure units and how to control the damping. After that, we will have a short look at the application parameter. Therefore, we have to switch from the measurement view to the parameter view. To do this, please press right arrow button. Now, we are in the parameter view. In the upper line, you can see the parameter name, press units. The parameter ID01 is located at the bottom right. The symbol edit is permanently active. In the parameter view, we can navigate through the different parameters with the arrow button down, up. For the application example, we need millibar on the display. From the current parameter view, parameter 01 press units, we get to the edit view by pressing the right arrow button. In this view, we can change the parameter value. Now the edit symbol flashes in the bottom right. To the right of the pressure unit bar, the enumeration arrow is visible. This means up and down pressure units are available for selection. With Ctrans P320, P420, you have 18 different pressure units available. We press the button up and you can see the unit millibar as desired. The animation arrow upwards has disappeared, which means that we can no longer make a selection with the up arrow button. We can cancel the change by pressing the left button arrow. A saving is done by pressing the right button arrow. In both cases, we return to the parameter view. In this case, we save the change with millibar. That means we press the right button arrow. Now we press the down button arrow. Parameter O2 lower range appears, which corresponds to the 4 milliamp. According to the task, we should assign minus 500 millibar. By pressing the right button arrow, we change to the edit view. The edit symbol flashes and we can now make the change. We press and hold the down button arrow and assign the value minus 500 millibar. By pressing the right button arrow, we save the change. Now we are back in the parameter view and the edit symbol stops flashing. Down button arrow and we are at parameter 03 upper range, which corresponds to the 20 milliamp. According to the task, we should assign 4500 millibar. By pressing the right button arrow, we change to the edit view. The edit symbol flashes and we can now make the change. We press and stay on the down button arrow and we assign the value 4500 millibar. By pressing the right button arrow, we save the change. Now we are back in the parameter view and the edit symbol stops flashing. By pressing the down button arrow, we get to parameter 04, 
damping damping value. The damping influences the reaction time of the device. It is used to smooth the measured value in case of sudden process value variations. The vectory setting is 2 seconds. By pressing the down button arrow again, we get to parameter 05 application. Application. With this parameter you adjust the device for the measuring task. You have a wide range of possibilities for this, such as level applications, volume, mass flow measurements and others. The vectory setting is press, pressure measurement. So we do not have to make any changes. By pressing the down button arrow we get to parameter 07, zero point. The visibility of parameter 06 depends on the selected application parameter 05. In parameter 07 we adjust the zero point. There are two methods to perform the zero point adjustment. Method A. At a process connection the pressure value is zero. The requirement for the differential pressure transmitter, there is identical pressure in the two process connections, the differential pressure value is zero. This zero point adjustment is also possible for relative pressure measuring devices by venting the process connection. Thus the atmospheric pressure is present and the pressure value is zero. For devices with absolute pressure measuring cell, a pressure of zero bar absolute must be applied. A different value will lead to incorrect settings. Method B. Here the applied pressure value is not equal to zero. A known reference pressure is applied. The display shows the reference value to which the device is adjusted. With method A the set point is zero. With method B the reference pressure value must be set with the up down button arrow. We use a differential pressure transmitter here. The pressure at both process connections is the same. As an example I will proceed to method A. By pressing the right button arrow we change to the editing view. The edit symbol flashes. As already explained the set point for method A is zero. I confirm this value by pressing the right button arrow. The measured value of the zero adjustment can be viewed in the measurement view by pressing the left button arrow. We are in the measurement view. In the upper line the name of the measured value pressure or the set unit millibar are displayed alternately. At the bottom right P1 stands for the measured value ID, in this case pressure. Now that we have adjusted everything we check the result with a reference pressure calibrator. Let's start with the lower range value which we have set to minus 500 millibar. After minus 500 millibar is now applied, we change to the measurement view loop current. In the upper line the name of the measured value loop current or the unit milliamperes are displayed again alternately. At the bottom right PA stands for loop current. We see that at minus 500 millibar a current of 4 milliamp flows. Now we reduce the pressure to minus 600 millibar. The measured value is still displayed but now the diagnostic method appears on the display in the bottom after an E107 with a triangle and question mark. This means that the current device status is outside the specification. Next to info the error code CP appears alternating with P1. It stands for loop current in saturation. As we can see in a measurement view loop current, a current of 3.8 mA flows. 
This is the factory setting for the lower saturation limit. The adjusted measuring span from minus 500 millibar to 4500 millibar is 5000 millibar. We have the lower range value at minus 500 millibar, so we are in the middle of the set span at 2000 millibar. This is also visualized by the bar display, which shows the position of a measured value within the set measuring span. At 2000 millibar, a loop current of 12 milliamp is flowing. At 4500 millibar, the upper range value, the bar display is at its maximum value. The loop current is 20 milliamps. Now we increase the pressure to 4700 millibar. The measured value is still displayed. But now the display shows again on the bottom line according to the NE107 standard the diagnostic message triangle and question mark. The current device status is outside the specification. In addition to info the error code CP appears again alternating with P1. It stands for loop current in saturation. As we can see in the measured value view, loop current, a current of 20.5 mA flows. This is the factory setting for the upper saturation limit. With this, we have applied a pressure within and outside the set measuring span. You are now familiar with the basic functions of Citroen's P320, P420 and we can commission a device. Further information, for example on the diagnostic messages, can be found in the operating instructions. Easy access to the operating instructions and further technical data via QR code. Thank you for participating in the Citroen's P320, P420 tutorial.